Elementary canal of leech is a complete straight tube with a different diameter from mouth to anus. It is differentiated into buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, crop, stomach, intestine, and rectum. Greater part of elementary canal is crop, concerned with storage of uncoagulated ingested blood, while only a small portion is concerned with digestion and absorption. This adaptation is accordance to the sanguivore's habit of leech. Preoral chamber and mouth. The preoral chamber is ventrally situated, cup like depression at oral sucker. Its roof is formed by a membrane like vellum bearing a triradiant opening. The mouth. In the center, one ray is mid dorsal while the other two are ventrolateral. Accordingly, vellum forms three lips around the mouth, one between two adjacent rays, so that three are two dorsolateral and one midventral. Buccal cavity Buccal cavity followed by mouth, which is a short chamber behind vellum. In its mucous lining are embedded three crescentic jaws arranged in a triangle. Each jaw is laterally compressed muscular cushion covered with fine cuticle, which is thickened at the free edge to form a ridge bearing minute teeth in a single row. Such jaws are termed monostichodont. They produce the characteristic triradian bite or Y shaped wound in the skin of host. Pharynx is followed by buccal cavity, which is a highly muscular. It is an oval sac extending from the fifth to eighth segment. Its inner surface bear longitudinal fold. It, it is surrounded by large masses of unicellular pyriform salivary glands, whose ductules in bundles run anteriorly and enter the three jaws to open on their salivary papillae. Secretion of this gland contain hirudin or anticoagulin, which prevents coagulation of blood while the leech is feeding. Many radial muscles connect the wall of pharynx with a body wall. Esophagus It is a remarkably short and narrow tube through which pharynx leads into crow. It has a very narrow lumen and a much folded epithelial lining. Crop. This is the very large portion of elementary canal. It is a thin walled extensive tube occupying about two thirds of the visceral space and extending from 9th to 18th segment. It is divided by narrow constrictions into a series of 10 chambers. Communicating by more or less circular apertures surrounded by sphincters. Each chamber consists of a small anterior part and broad posterior part bearing a pair of lateral, backwardly directed blind outgrowths called cica or diverticula. Crop chambers and cica gradually increase in size toward the posterior side. The last or a tenth chamber is the